An ethics complaint against Councilman Mark White has been allowed to proceed. Last week, local attorney Martin Phipps accused the Northeast Side Councilman of abusing his position to interfere in Phipps' child custody case. City Hall reporter Garrett Berger has been following this. He joins us now here in the studio. Garrett, a lot of moving parts in these <laughs> allegations. Absolutely. So let's rewind it back a week. Now, Mark White is a first-term city councilman for District 10. In his day job, he's an attorney, as is his wife, Lorian White who at one point represented the ex-wife of Martin Phipps. That's the man who filed the complaint, another attorney. Basically, it's a whole lot of lawyers in this. What it boils down to is a night back in April where White says his wife sent him part of the conversation between a child in Phipps' home and Phipps' ex. Messages that White said made him worried about the child's safety. Now, there's a lot of back and forth over who texted or called at what point, and we've got a lot of that broken down online. You can go back and read our story from that, the original one from a week ago. But in short, the councilman says he tried to get a hold of Police Chief William McManus, but wasn't able to. But White was at an event with other officials, including the Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar, who, after talking with White, sent someone over to Phipps' house, where San Antonio police had apparently already arrived. Though a child in the home said Phipps had grabbed and shaken them by the arms, police didn't see any injuries and didn't remove the child. White provided screenshots that indicated Phipps' ex had already likely called police. He's also said he has a duty to report suspected abuse. Now, White, while Phipps says White was butting into a private family matter on behalf of his wife and her client, who in this case is Phipps' ex. Now, Phipps filed a complaint last week with specific accusations, including conflict of interest, unfair advancement of private interest, prestige in office and improper influence, and misusing public property and resources. Now, the city hired an outside attorney to check into that complaint. Yesterday, that attorney determined that most of the alleged violations can go forward to the Ethics Review Board, though part of this conflict of interest claim that was dropped. Okay, so, so if only part of it was dropped, what does this mean going forward? Well, basically, it's going to continue on to the Ethics Review Board. That's a panel of citizens appointed by the council and the mayor. And White's going to have the chance to rebut the claims. He has uh, basically until next week, it sounds like, to do that. And that's when he's saying he's planning on doing that. And there could be another round of response and rebuttal after that. But it sounds like this likely will make its way to a hearing where they're going to hash things out. And it sounds like that should be a public meeting. All right, so what's the possible outcome here? If, if, if White is found guilty of wrongdoing, what's the outcome? Well, basically, it sounds like the board can recommend a couple things, but I just want to rewind. I just got confirmation that that hearing, that is up to the board, so it's not mandatory. Okay. We may not end up seeing this at a hearing, but if the board does have to deliver a uh, an assessment with 90 days. They either say that they dismiss the viol they dismiss the accusations, or they say a violation has occurred. If they do, they either refer criminal prosecution or civil civil remedies, or they could say why they don't think any action is necessary. But we're going to see something within about 90 days. Yeah, I'm glad you brought your phone out here so we can get the very latest <laughs> I on, did. This, on this whole yeah. thing. I've been going back and forth trying to trying to yeah. make sure we have the latest. Well, but there's so many moving parts. I was going to say we'll need you to stay on top of it because it's a little complicated. Oh yeah, and it's going to it's even better. So we're at the 90 day window. That's going to end up being right in the middle of when they're starting budget. So uh, just throw that in the middle of everything the as well. Yeah. All right. Yeah, thank you. you got it. Here.